Okay, so ready for a deep dive today. Hi. We're going to be looking at someone who's doing some really, really fascinating things in the medical world. Yeah, this is a good one. It is a good one. Dr. Oh. Sonu Bhaskar. And I'll be honest, when I was reading through all the stuff you sent over, yeah, this is not just another, you know, oh, look at this doctor. They did this. Right. This is This is somebody who's like actively changing things. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely pushing boundaries. We're not just looking at a resume here. No, not at all. Yeah. Um, although I guess we were going to look at his resume. I mean, first thing I noticed, MD, PhD. Of course. F-A-N-A. -A. That's a mouthful. What is F-A? Yeah, Fellow of the American Neurological Association. Okay, so he's a neurologist. Got it. Big deal in the neurology world. But, you know, all those qualifications yeah. that I actually translate to a lot. Okay. He's ranked globally for his work on stroke and cerebrovascular research. So it's not just him, like, you know, doing his own thing. He's influencing everybody. Exactly. His work is shaping how other doctors approach these conditions. He's kind of a big deal. That's incredible. And on a global scale, too, because then I saw director of the Global Health Neurology Lab. Like, what does that even mean? So think about healthcare disparities around the world. Okay. Yeah. You know, unequal access to treatment. Oh, yeah. Lack of resources. Right, right. Makes sense. That's what his lab is focused on. They're trying to level the playing field, make sure everyone has a fair shot at good health. Which is so important because we take it for granted, I think. Yeah. Like, we're here. We can get what we need, hopefully. Absolutely. And it's not just about geography. It's about economics, social factors, the whole picture. Totally. And speaking of going above and beyond, then there's all this COVID stuff reprogram. Right, right. He didn't shy away from the pandemic. No. He dove headfirst into researching practical solutions, again, with a focus on vulnerable communities. So it's not just research for research's sake. It's like, how do we take this and apply it right now to help people? Exactly. Real world impact. And this commitment to practical solutions, it ties into everything he does, even something like the NSW Brain Clot Bank. Okay, hold up. There's a what bank? I know, right? Sounds strange, but it's an incredible resource. Okay. Researchers use these donated clots to study stroke, figure out how to prevent them, treat them better. So it's like a, uh, like a library of clots they can learn from. Exactly. Each one holds clues, and by stuttering them, we can potentially save lives. Wow. That's that's incredible. He's involved with that. And then on top of all of this research, he's advocating for like ethical innovation. Huge part of his philosophy. It's about making sure medical advancements benefit everyone, not just a select few. Yeah, because what's the point of a breakthrough if only a tiny percentage of people can actually access it? Right. And this ties into his focus on patient centered care, making sure patients feel heard respected. Which, let's be real, the healthcare system isn't always great at that. Tell me about it. But Dr. Bhaskar is really pushing for that human-centered approach. And then on top of all that, he's also a big voice for diversity in healthcare. Which makes sense because it all kind of ties together, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you're reaching for global health equity. Absolutely. And he's not just talking the talk. He's organizing workshops on inclusive leadership, working to make the healthcare workforce reflect the diversity of the people it serves. So it's like not just having a diverse group of doctors, but making sure they're all equipped to lead, to understand different perspectives, different needs. Exactly. It's about representation, but also about changing the culture from the inside out. And that commitment to mentorship, that's where it shines through. Yeah, I was going to say, because I saw that he's really into fostering the next generation of, like, healthcare leaders. Oh, absolutely. But it's not your typical, you know, here's a textbook kind of teaching. Yeah. He's all about collaboration, real world problem solving. Hands on. Exactly. He throws them into these clinical challenges and says, okay, let's figure this out together. So he's a researcher, an advocate, a mentor. Like, where does he even find the time? I know, right? He's like a force of nature and it's incredibly inspiring. He really is. So I guess the takeaway here is Dr. Sunni Bhaskar is someone to watch. He's not just changing how we think about neurology. He's changing how we think about healthcare as a whole. 100%. He's proof that one person can make a real difference. Yeah. Makes you think, what kind of impact could we be making if we all put our minds to it? All right. Something to ponder. We'll be back next week with another deep dive.